As we deal with COVID and monkeypox, another disease now has health officials concerned. Yeah, we're talking about Legionnaire's disease this time. It's made 12 people sick and one man has died. Tonight, health leaders in Napa County are narrowing in on the source of that outbreak. Here's NBC Bay Area's Ian Cull. Tonight, zeroing in on the source. The Napa County Health Officer says they identified a large air conditioning unit on the roof of the Embassy Suites Napa Valley had traces of Legionella, a bacteria that causes severe pneumonia known as Legionnaire's disease. And they believe it's the connecting factor that put 12 people in the hospital over the past few weeks. One man in his 50s died. This cooling tower has been taken offline which mitigates any ongoing risk to public health. Three patients are still in the hospital. One is on a ventilator. Dr. Relucio says none of the patients were guests at the hotel, but instead neighbors who live in the surrounding area. If a cooling tower is, um, you know, contaminated with the bacteria, it can disseminate for up to a mile. We also spoke with Dr. Dean Winslow, a professor of medicine and infectious disease expert at Stanford. He says people over 50 with severe underlying conditions are most at risk, and you contract it by breathing in small droplets of water in the air that contain the bacteria. Air conditioning systems, even hot water supplies in hospitals, you know, have been identified as sources of uh, outbreaks. He says it's not spread from person to person and can be treated with antibiotics when caught early. These air conditioning units do aerosolize the bacteria, and depending on the uh, concentration of bugs that are present, certainly people who are downwind, uh, you know, from a cooling tower, uh, you know, could be at risk. The health officer says Legionnaires is rare, and they usually get up to two cases per year. As for the outbreak, they're still testing other water sources in the area. The investigation team continues to work with Embassy Suites to remediate the source and will continue to work on the remediation until the issue is completely resolved. The hotel is still open and operating. We reached out to Embassy Suites parent company, Hilton, by email and have not heard back. Ian Cole, NBC Bay Area News.